Is this a once in a lifetime honey flow? Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now we just finished training. We've had a group of, uh, well, almost a full house today of beekeeping training, eight in total. And the supers I put on last week are all full on the hive and I can't believe it. Now there's one more site I need to go to and I'm gonna go down, it is now six o'clock. Now I am resorting to use in brood boxes because every super box that I've built is now out. Can't remember how many new ones I've built this year, but I've built a fair few thinking that was going to be more than enough. And I've been building more again. And these brood boxes, I've got decent frames in them. So I'm going to use them as honey supers, try and take advantage of the flow. Some new boxes right in the back there. They're not even painted, I've got no time. The flow is on now, it might only last another week. So these boxes, they've got to go. These have got to go on right now, I've got no choice. In the shed there, we're still preparing frames and nuke boxes for queens to arrive, so we're super, super busy. Um, so thankful that the season has given me this gift. The year I quit my job, or the, the part-time job, and we are having this weather. I mean, I, re I really, really needed this. Really needed this. I can't tell you how much I needed this. Out of all the things that have gone wrong this year, this was the weather that I needed to, to fix a lot of the problems. Now, if every super goes out and every super that I've got is full, then I can't have done any better than that. This week now, I've got uh, more queens coming from Northumberland Honey. I've got more queens coming, I think, the week after from... Oh, that's the gate hitting the truck. I've got more queens coming from Alex. Uh, I've got to change the name. I call the Alex Queen B Alex line. I've got to change it to Nikki line. So Nikki is his partner and she's angry that Alex is getting the credit for her work. So it's not Alex that's doing the work for those queens, it's his partner. So we're gonna change the names of those queens to Nikki Line. Uh, what else do I wanna say? That's it, that's all I'm gonna say now. I need to jump in the truck, go down, breakfast, we may do some filming down there, uh, see some full boxes. In the meantime, I'll overlay some uh, footage as with the bee inspectors last, uh, say last week, this week. So we're part of Dash, where we monitor our own highs for disease. Uh, as part of that, we get a three year audit. Two bee inspectors, Paul and George were with me this week, fantastic job. We went through something like 60 something hives. We went down to Kungwili where we had foul brood three, four years ago, everything was clear there. And let's look at these photos, look at the honey that we were seeing on these hives. There are some monster hives down there now and I guarantee you they'll all need more supers next week and I haven't got them. So hopefully dad can help me this week, build more boxes, build more frames. I've got everything here, luckily, because I've got the shop. I'm gonna raid another couple of boxes of swanty supers, build them up really quick, get them out. And uh, back to the bee inspectors, no disease, went through the nuke yard, everything looks perfect. So if anybody wants to buy nukes this year, rest assured I've done everything possible to get those nukes up to standard, up to health, no disease, uh, and a clean bit of health from the bee inspectors. And uh, I think they were quite happy with what they saw as well. So let's go to Brechvar to see what the carnage is like over there. Here we are. in Brechva and the first thing I've noticed we've got a swarm trap up here and it looks like there's bees in there and they need a super as well now, there's nothing I can do for them. 
I haven't got a queen excluder, so that's going to be a job for this week. But more importantly, how are my big hives doing? Let's have a look. Now, I was quite on the ball on this site by the looks of it. I have been... ahead of the curve. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Now, if you're wondering why these bees are so high, they're in a floodplain. Click the link below to watch that video. And the site is just too good to not have them. Please be full. Oh, yes. Right, they need a super. Take that lid off. Put that there. They need a super. I've not seen a floor like this before. One, two, three, four. Ooh, smell that banana smell. I'm gonna smoke the lit. I'm just literally planning on putting supers on. It's getting late in the day now. We are losing light pretty quick. Well, I say losing light. Losing temperature more than anything. Let's see. So, these guys, they don't need these two supers. These ones are gonna get it. These have swarmed or something's happened. So they don't need the super. I'm gonna take these off and give it to these three and another box. Uh, I've taken a box off this, given it to them, now deciding they're not in this box. Storing honey in there. Oh. Right, I'm gonna leave that on because it is promising a good week, and I'm gonna go through everything. But if something else needs this super more, then this is gonna come off, and I'm gonna put it on something that needs it more. But because they have started filling that first super up, because this one doing terrible really compared to these ones this one now has been given a fifth that one's gonna have a third that one is gonna have the fifth and i guarantee you more for these as long as they haven't swarmed or tapped out for the year they're gonna get a box as well so i need to crack on and get these boxes on change plan i've had a light to smoke some of these bees are too nasty don't appreciate me being here seven o'clock, whatever the time is, just showing about that time. Because we've got the shade. It's cooling down, and these bees, they want to dry that honey up. And here I am disturbing them. 
Hessian, the best smoker fuel I've ever used. This is a used coffee bag, which we sell on the website. And that's just not me bragging at it. That, uh, that is the best smoker fuel. Easy for lighting and it smoulders for ages. Recycling at its best. Don't forget, we sell that on the website. Right, let's get back into these bees. Now, don't be fooled. They look amazing and they are. Things are okay. Things don't always go to plan. These swarmed with a virgin queen left in there, expected a mate. My smoker. And the reason these bees are angry because they're drawn layer. Drawn layer, fail me successfully. That hive is kaput, so I'm going to shake that box out. There's no point keeping that here in the apron. I'm going to shake all the bees out. I'm going to give that box, put it on another swoop. Unfortunately, the drone is going to be hatching out. So next week, I'll have to come back and release all those drones from the swoopers. But I can't fix that hive. That is dead. These bees are angry because they know it. So there's no point trying to fix it. That does happen when you leave these bees do an artificial swarm or they've swarmed the, the, the spring or June they didn't get a mate when they needed to and they've gone kaput so that one's gone finished and unfortunately that does happen right so that's it we've swooping up watch here this one got shook out pretty good okay not so good Okay, pretty good. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. So not too bad considering the year I've had with things swarming and everything. Things have pretty much um, not come back on track. I know I've lost honey, uh, but maybe this year that it being so good, I, I may not have lost nothing in the end, but we'll see. We'll see. But the good thing is, I've lost one hive there now, drawn layer. But that means I've got a queen excluder to give to that swarm so I can super up that swarm now as well. So we'll go have a look and see uh, how that swarm is looking. Does it need one or does it need two supers? That's a full box of bees. I'm only going to give it the one. I'll be back next week to check supers again. So we'll give it a one and see how this one goes. All right, that's them. I'm sweating like nobody's business. So it is the, I think the 8th of July. And in Wales, the season is long from over. So in England, it starts much sooner, but it finishes sooner. So now is the time we gain. Now we've got Himalayan balsam left to give. And I just looking at the bramble here. Yeah? The bramble does seem a bit behind here yeah, compared to back home. And the clover. That is still in flower here in Brachva. So it's easy, another week left for that. Easy, maybe two. But bramble being probably the, the main crop we get. Not even flower that piss, piece. So we've got plenty, plenty of forage left. Here's another variety of bramble. That one again, not even, not even flowered. Not even flowering. What a result. So I've got all these hoopers, haven't counted them yet. We may do that in the next video. See how the bees fill these up. 
but it's looking like this place is a week behind where I am back home. Not even flowering. Not even flowering. Flowers and buds left open, so that is good. And it's promising another amazing week as well. So is this a once in a lifetime flow? I don't know, but we will find out come September and I will talk about it on this video. So hopefully this is gonna be a flow, hopefully not a once in a lifetime flow, hopefully many, many more flows like this right across my beekeeping career. This is what helps to pay the bills when honey comes in like this. And uh, yeah, desperately, desperately needed this honey. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.